It's not just about what I will do as president. It is also about what you, the people who love this country, the citizens of the United States of America can do to change it. That's what this election is all about. Excited, nervous, and hopeful, Swarthmore students gathered together to anxiously watch the election returns. We recognize the huge historical points of this moment and how were things turned out after this, we can trace everything that happened to this moment. I'm not going to say anything. Well, I'm like really very excited and um, I've been volunteering for the Democrats and um, I have been very involved in this election and I have my entire family involved in it and I, I really believe that this is the election um, and I haven't been able to sleep. Anything else, breaking out completely, uh, completely. <laughs> um, and I, I really think that it's, I'm really happy that it's, um, that I hope Obama wins. I think it's important to have a person of color in the White House because I think it means a lot for the country and it just means a lot in terms of like overcoming the obstacles that we've had for the past four years. So I really, really, really want Obama to win. Um, I also think we need to have a candidate who was born after the Cold War era so we don't stay in that certain mentality of us versus them. So, what do you think, Alicia? Well, I agree that this is a very important election. Just like historically, of course, because we have a black man running for president, and also a female Hell yeah. <laughs> vice presidential yes, yes. candidate. Is that the appropriate word? But anyway, <laughs> anyway, you know, Kayla, you gotta love her. But <laughs> and also, it's very historic because like, I do know a lot of people whose grandparents uh, were born in like the 1920s and 1930s, and in terms of so just like civil rights and like how far the black American community has, has come. And what this like means for people who were there during like Jim Crow and there during the civil rights movement, like they've lived to see this. Yeah. And people wouldn't yeah. think that they would, and now they are. And that is just like very powerful. Yeah. Like this is very very powerful. It just makes this, everything just heightens it like, exponentially. Right. So, well, I've been canvassing all day, and uh, when I was and when I was canvassing, I was sort of you know in a good place because I was actually doing something. But now that I can't do anything because the polls have closed, I'm really really neurotic. As polls began to close and states were tallied up, the emotions began to rise until, at 11 o'clock p.m., it was announced that Barack Obama was to be the new president of the United States of America.